Hey, Chen Lu, what you working on? Our next make. Awesome. You got a minute? I uh, I got us something. Really? Yeah. Present. Check it out. <gasps> what is that? 3D Experience SolidWorks for Makers. This should really help us up our game. Mm -hmm. You want to open it up and see what's inside? Yes. All right, let's do it. Now, of course, before we could actually unbox anything, I had to buy it, and it was really an easy experience. All I had to do was go out to SolidWorks.com, click on the Maker Offer, and, uh, and fill out the information. I, I bought two licenses, one for me and one for Chin Lu, and the only part that was important there was uh, filling out my profile so that SolidWorks knew who I was. Of course, the rest of it was standard sort of payment information, and when, when everything was done, I just uh, got a nice, cool confirmation. Okay, so let's uh, let's see what's inside this. Right. Right, the first thing we've got is a letter. That's really cool. It says, hello, Sal. Your 3D experience platform is ready to use. You're just one click away from your uh, starting your journey. So we're going to click there. All right, let's get started. Since Sal had created his account earlier, um, it's my turn now. Uh, pretty straightforward. I can add my information and just register once I get in. Looks like there's some guided tours of how to use the platform and oh, and a few videos I should check out later. Let's see what else is in here. Ah, there it is. Exactly what we were waiting for. SolidWorks. And very conveniently it says install now right on the top. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, let's start this installation from the browser. Looks like you just set up where it should go in your desktop and fast forward. Time to open it up. Hopefully there's some things I can learn from. Yes, there should be some sample files I can look at. Garden trial, perfect. This looks fantastic. I can't wait to use this on our projects. Well, let's see what else is in this box. We've got another item here. Check this out. It's X-Design. Um, looks like it's ready to be used right now. So let's go and give it a try. All right, now that we know that X-Design comes with my SOLIDWORKS for Makers license, let's go and find this thing. Looks like there's a 3D Creator dashboard that I can go to. Sure enough, there's X-Design sitting there, and it's, uh, it's got the welcome app uh, as well. Uh, lots of really interesting stuff in here. Let's drag one of these pieces of content out, and uh, there's some more of that uh, heads-up sort of information to make me feel comfortable with what I'm about to do. That's cool. It also looks like on the left there, there's some videos I definitely need to go check out as well. Maybe it'll help me learn how to use this product. All right, cool. Oh, even more information. This is great. You know, if you're a first time CAD user, uh, it's nice to see these uh, these dialogues that let you kind of read through and get a tour of the interface so you feel comfortable right out of the gate. Um, that's cool. So let's uh, let's maximize this so we can see a little bit more of X-Design and see what we can do here. Uh, it looks like I can rotate it around just like I would in SOLIDWORKS and drag things and see how the mechanism moves. That's pretty cool. All right, X-Design, pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's see what else is in the box. Oh, check this out. This is really cool. X shape. I've heard about this. Oh, look at that. It's like, it's like clay. Also something you can use right out of the box. Why don't we give this a try? All right, let's go check out that same uh, menu there and, and hop over to 3D Sculptor, see what that, uh, that dashboard looks like. Uh, and sure enough, that's where X shape lives. And it has a very similar looking welcome app again. Um, but it looks like it's slightly tailored to X shape. It looks like the content down at the bottom is unique, which is pretty cool. Let's let's try out this apple slicer and see what we can do with it. All right, cool. So um, let's maximize again. It looks like um, that's a really cool looking model. Um, we don't need all this other stuff, so we can close out some of this stuff and focus on the design. Um, let's go ahead and try and edit this thing. I'm just going to double click on the the uh, X shape geometry there and uh, maybe look straight at it from the side. Um, they say it's like working with digital clay. Let's check it out. It looks like I can select some stuff and really just start rotating and moving stuff. That's cool. It behaves really organically. Uh, and when I okay the, the interface, it looks like things need to update, um, but that's really cool. Uh, it's mixing the subdivision modeling techniques with parametrics and it looks like everything updated um, and those hand grips look really cool. 
All right, cool. Actually, shape that, that's really exciting. I, I can't wait to build some stuff with it. Uh, looks like we've already had a little bit of fun. So let's, uh, let's see. I saw there was one more thing left in the box. I can't wait to see what this is. This is pretty amazing. Look at that. This must be the 3D Experience platform. Let's see what's inside. Oh my goodness, look at, look at all those things. There's a whole bunch of different applications that we can explore. We'll definitely have to check those out. All right, it looks like all of the other applications that come with the 3D Experience platform are up underneath the compass. So look at this long list. It's got a ton of stuff in it. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have, definitely have to check out a bunch of these, but I did see something way up at the top I want to check out right now. Uh, did you see 3D Sketch? Ooh, the Doodly app. Yeah. Let's see what it can do. Looks like a pretty basic interface. You can just jump in and start creating something new. Oh, and there's some guided instructions. Yeah, that's a pretty cool, consistent theme. Um, it looks like you can just start drawing stuff. On different planes. It, it, this is going to be a much better way for me to kind of share my harebrained ideas with you without waving my hands around. Yeah, plus it smooths it out for you. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So the other thing that uh, I think uh, people talk about a lot is community, and SolidWorks is known for its community. And there's this thing called SWIM, which I think stands for See What You Mean. That's what it means, yeah. yeah. And it looks like there's a maker community made in 3D. That's a great place, it looks like, for people to post the fun stuff that they make. And then there's also a support community, which seems like a right place to go to if you need any questions answered and help with anything. Well, that was fun. Yeah, this is amazing. I can't wait to get started using SOLIDWORKS for Makers. And we'll do so on our next see. make. So I had a lot of fun making these props. What about you? Yeah, I love cutting all these cool things out of vinyl. Looks perfect. Yeah, I enjoyed making all these uh, little wooden pieces. You did the gluing of all that. That was fun, huh? Or was that too tedious? It was fun. Got a little sticky on the way. Straight. Straight. Overrated. Um, you know, making all these props makes me wonder, you don't think that people are going to think that they actually get all of this stuff, right? Like, no, but I like to. They're just buying software. You think people understand that, right? I hope so. No. It, it's just software, people. You, you don't, you're not getting a quadcopter. You're not getting a box full of wooden pieces with stickers on them. It's software. You think they understand that, right? Okay. It's just software. <laughs>